Okay, just a quick um, video, guys. I know it's been a while since I've been on. Haven't had much time and haven't played around with anything for a while. But today I decided I have a couple of hours, um, so I'm going to play around with this. Now, instead of mains plug here, which is what it says to use, I didn't want to use mains, obviously because didn't want to destroy it, didn't want to get in trouble, didn't you know want to play around with mains. So I decided just to use an inverter that runs off of battery. It will still give me gives me AC. Uh, in this case, it's modified sine wave, so it's not pure AC, but it still works. Um, so pretty much I've got my entire setup exactly as it, is in, as it is in here, but instead of my brass rod, I'm just using my extension cable, and I wrapped um, copper uh, magnetic wire around my um, extension cable. As you can see, there's one in there, and the other end is there. So instead of the copper rod, it's just round ar uh, wound around the actual um, uh, extension lead itself. So here's the setup. We've got bridge rectifier. As you can see, this end doesn't actually go to anything. So we've got one end of the wire going to one side of the AC, and then you've got your negative and positive DC rectification there. And that's just going to this LED here. It's a 1 watt LED. The other side's not connected. That should be connected to either Earth um, or one of the live or neutral wires here. But what I wanted to show is that fact that this works even without that. So you just need the signal. So there's my meter. We'll just turn the inverter on. You can see I'm getting about 2.3, 2.4 volts. And that's powering this LED. I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, you can see it's on. You can see the light on my finger. Not very bright because it's only running at 2.4. Um, but when you disconnect the LED, you do get around 20 volts. Now, if you connect the other AC to either ground, or in this case, I'm touching it, so it instantly gives me a little bit more voltage, or we'll just plug it into the live wire here and now it gives us around 100 volts and you can plug the LED in as well and again it only gives us 2.4 so the voltage for the LED adjusts itself pretty standard we all know this we've seen this before but uh, what's interesting is if we take the live wire off so it's not actually connected okay now Look at the voltage when all I'm doing is touching the negative of the battery. It goes up a little bit. Now, with one LED, it's not very noticeable. So what I've got is an array of LEDs here with a capacitor. So let me just change this around. Again, we get about 22 volts or so by itself. We'll connect the positive to positive. And... Sorry, I'm using one hand, and a negative to the negative. As you can see, the capacitor was already charged a little bit, so now it's charging. But it won't charge very high. Unless, until... So let's see if I can get this in one shot. I actually touch the negative here. And there you go. Now it starts rising. Now all I'm doing is touching the negative of the battery. Which is pretty weird. And soon the LEDs should start turning on. And they are. It's very not very bright. But you can see we're almost up to 19 volts. I've got a little green one in there just to indicate that it is actual light. Okay. So we're about 19.5. My finger's still on the negative. Now if I let go. See, it starts dropping. Pretty weird. Now if we take the other side of the AC and connect it to 
the live you can see that helps quite a bit as well we'll get the 19 point it'll reach about 20 volts I think LEDs are coming on and these are all in series obviously so that's about 19.75 now again if I touch the negative it goes up a bit more if I let go it goes down now I could touch the neutral here that doesn't do anything usually if you can t if you touch the antenna you, you can be a virtual ground for some reason that's it that's all you get but in this case it's the negative of the battery and it's not just a negative you see I've let go and I'll touch the positive and that goes up as well so it seems like the battery itself has to be grounded in order to uh, give a decent effect why that is don't know I mean all it is is providing a DC current into the um, inverter and the inverter is just providing a signal for us to come off of but there's no direct connections it's just a capacitive connection between the insulated lines inside the cut-up extension cord and the outside wrapping of magnetic wire so why on earth touching the battery would we ground it to give us a bit more of a powerful effect you can see lights up quite bright We're almost 20 volts I'll let go and it starts dropping that's weird now even if I for instance I have this huge mass here which can act as a uh, um, virtual ground I'll connect that so it's a virtual ground get a little bit extra only 0 0.02 of a volt if we disconnect it no we don't even get extra for that so but again if I connect my virtual ground oops so I'll connect my virtual ground for instance and this is insulated this this is insulated this 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 laminate here is insulated it's not actually it's designed so that when you touch it it's not going to shock you but even if I put my finger on it I put my palm close to it the voltage goes up and there's this sensing coil here which is just two loops or so not connected directly and I can be touching that and the voltage will go up so somehow the capacitance from your body to the battery helps this whole setup why or how I have no idea that's a mystery to me I'm gonna look into it a bit more but in this case it's pretty interesting and again it's a hundred volts that we're getting off of the DC here but it's very it's, it's static it's um it's bipolar you could say um, as we all know again LEDs not so bright charge up a little bit about 19.75 now the LEDs are drawing quite a bit you can see and here I go I'll touch the negative again you can see they get brighter and our voltage goes up so strange very strange I mean I can touch the negative of the capacitor and that gives us even more but why the battery? The battery is isolated through this. There's no direct connection from the battery to anything here. So why touching the battery terminals do I get a higher voltage? Interesting. 
Okay, just thought I'd share that. Thanks for watching.